Hey, what's up guys? John from Linkswiller here again with another tutorial for our T-Style XL and Generation 6 radios. Today we are going to be talking about how you customize your home pages, uh, pre-set up a couple different apps. Yeah, making the radio your radio. That's what we're doing today. So let's go do it. All right, guys, so one of the things that's been asked a lot of times is, is the ability to customize uh, home pages and backgrounds and stuff like that. And uh, while we make our own UI, we do make it with a purpose, and that's really genuinely to give you kind of that factory look. Uh, but with the XL and the, sec and the Gen 6, we kind of went on a different route. We decided we'd make it a little bit more of the uh, phone, tablet kind of style with more customizing. So I just wanted to show you guys a few things about customizing your Gen 6 or your T-Style XL radio. Uh, so first thing we're going to talk about is moving apps. It's really as easy as on your phone. So you're going to have your home page. When you hit home, it's going to go to that first page. My suggestion is put all of the stuff on that that you're going to use on a regular basis, the stuff you want to see. Um, it doesn't have to be full. Uh, so like it's going to come pretty similar to what you're seeing here. Uh, I have tweaked it a little bit. But let's say you could care less about the whole pitch and roll uh, compass thing. If you push and hold, you can see you can move it. Anything you want to remove from the home page. Now this doesn't necessarily mean uninstall. It just removes, means remove from the shortcut page. If you move to the top, it'll disappear and now it's gone. So now we have that whole uh, upper spot there to do whatever we want to. So we can take our calendar and we can we can move our calendar up there. Um, we can take and we can swipe a page and we can see all these other apps here. Really cool app, guys, if you're into like, you know, old school games like I am. This uh, N64 emulator actually gives you the ability to download ROMs internally, uh, USB uh, remote, and you can play some cool games on there. So I like that. I think my kids like it. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that. I'm going to move it over here to the first page. I'm going to have it on there. It's really genuinely as easy as that. Now this one here that says Pluto TV, there's a good chance when you first power it on, yours says music online and it might have a Spotify icon. So I wanna show you how you can program that to a different app. So you're gonna to go to your settings. Uh, we're gonna open up settings and then the music online is what it's titled. So that's actually, let me see if I can get you all the way back through to it. So in settings, you're gonna hit uh, user and then app customize. That's where that, that option is. So select app customize music online. And now that, what that's doing is it's kind of like a held space widget that we're gonna let you kind of put whatever you want to with it because some apps are just not gonna give you a widget. Like actually if you tap and hold uh, Chrome, it'll actually let you select a couple different Chrome widgets and that's just because that's what Chrome allows you to do. Some apps won't do that. But let's say you want that spot to be something different. Uh, like we could set it up to say, I don't know, be Prime Video. And then we, uh, we drop that down and now when we go back to the home page, now instead of saying Pluto TV, it says Prime Home. So maybe you want it to say Spotify, maybe you want it to say Sirius XM if you're gonna use the Sirius XM app, uh, Pandora, whatever your, uh, you know, whatever quick access you want, it'll be right there. It just kind of makes a widget for you. Um, you can, like I said, you can swipe things around, go all over the place, move these guys around. Uh, you can just keep adding pages. So when you download an app, a lot of times it'll pop up here in the bottom. So swipe from the bottom up. This will give you a list of all the apps that are on the radio. So if you notice that one of the apps you downloaded or one of the apps you want isn't on one of those home page shortcuts, uh, right there, swipe up, find it. Uh, say, okay, HDMI, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this guy right there. Plug for that, we do have an HDMI interface adapter. So if you want to add an HDMI input into your Gen 6, your Gen 5, or your uh, T, your sorry, Gen 6 XL and uh, Gen 5 H. We do have a module that I add an HDMI input, and that's your icon for it. But that's how you do it, dude. It's simple as that. Super easy. Drag, click, put it over here, and then you have your home pages looking exactly how you want them, with the apps you want where you want them, and uh, yeah, just enjoy your radio the way you want to enjoy it. So yeah, cool things. Gen 6 XL radio, both of them giving you some ability to. Uh, customize that homepage. That's what you got. We'll see you guys in our next video.